Hello friends, it's so nice to catch you again on my channel. It's a uh, Canal channel about life in Canada and today I'm gonna show you the best probably trail, bike trail here in Ontario. And just along of this Niagara River, we're gonna start from Niagara on the, on the lake a city, like small, cute and cozy city. Uh, this is our starting point and I'm gonna show you everything in here. I'm gonna left a couple of links under this video, so you you will be able to do the same actually, guys. And it's just it's just awesome. I'm doing this for the, for the second time with my good friends. And yeah, stay tuned, guys. Thank you for watching this one. Hey guys, we are heading to Niagara on the lake. This is some small kind of cute city, cozy city, uh, where we're gonna find some parking, parking space. And it should be free parking space, you know, guys. And I'm gonna share this location, by the way, about this parking space under this video. You can find this link. And yeah, it should be kind of useful for you guys. And yeah, stay tuned, guys. Let me go, there's no doubt. Gotta get out of this small town. You took my heart from me. Now you're everywhere I see. Set me free. Let me fly, let me find new kinds of highs We're just wasting here, waiting for another year so guys, this is Niagara on the Lake city and this is free parking space. It's not easy guys to find some free parking space in Ni Niagara on the Lake because it's a uh, it's popular city and every time like it's every time busy and you should pay. And by the way, kind of cool place just behind me. Maybe it could be for you some kind of orientation. So yeah, this is free parking space. And here some beach and today we're gonna we're gonna swim. If you didn't know, I've been I've been swimming in the winter like for 11 years, and my friend today, Alex, he's going to do the same like for the first time ever in his life, you know, guys. And I'm going to show you how to do it in a proper way, because I'm polar bear and have this like mm, cold exposure. This is what I'm doing for almost 11 years, guys. It's extremely beneficial, and yeah, it's going to be fun. This is Alex, he's extremely busy. This is my good friend who has shown me this uh, beautiful bike trail. And actually, like, I'm happy to know this one. And today I'm gonna share with you this bike trail. And just for the history, this is November 16th, guys. And to, right now, it's, I believe it's about positive 16. And it's extremely good weather right now. It's November 16th, you know, guys. That's why I'm trying to catch this weather. And sounds like a good idea to close this bike season by exploring this bike trail along of the Niagara on the river. So guys, thank you so much for watching this one. Yes, can you see this house in the middle of this river? It kind of looks weird for me, I don't know. Do you want to live like this way? And you know, I just want to mention like no pier in here. So you probably you, you need to have a boat or something like, it's kind of cool. By taking the trail, you will get a bunch of this, uh, like these bridges, you know, and you can handle it by, by your bike. So it's, it's kind of awesome, it looks awesome. And this is the first up, this is washroom. But as as soon as it's actually like fall and the middle of November it's not working anymore. So it's not useful for you. So 
one of the first stops for today. This is winery just behind me. You can see. I don't know why, but I'm so like this winery. It's everywhere. Like it's widespread in here. You can find a bunch of wineries and actually something to explore. You know, guys. Especially if it's like summertime, it's a good time to explore wineries. I don't know to buy some bottle of wine to have fun. You know, just enjoy. And can you see this beautiful farm? I don't know, I love this. By the way, I just wanted to mention, uh, it's a good idea to try ice wine in here. That's actually this place, this neighborhood, it's popular and pretty famous due to this ice wine. And that's something what you want to try. I believe only about this in here you can find this ice wine. Maybe it's a, you should get like a double price for this, but it's worth it, you can try it. I just want to share another place. It's another stop for today with this stunning view. And by the way, this is US site. Oh my gosh, <laughs> safety first. <laughs> this is US site and a good chance to see. So the next stop for today is this bridge. This bridge leads you to US side and in this way you can by the way you can go to US. Two souls collided. We shared the pieces of ourselves. It's perfect timing now. We fueled the flames, but we're still learning to trust, learning to trust. It's never enough, never enough. Burning me up, burning me up. The next stop for today is this uh, awesome dam. It's also like stunning view. Uh, you can find this place just right next to this uh, watch. Pretty famous place. Uh, actually, must must have to see if you're gonna check this out like for the first time. And actually, yeah, we're heading for Weirpool, and we're gonna spot some trail on that place where we can stay pretty close to. Nagara River and actually yeah, you will see guys so stay tuned. So yeah guys, this is definitely like some kind of powerful place and must have to see actually, you know guys. So I just I was asking Alex, my friends, you know I work as a web developer and my, my friend Alex, he also working with me at the same company and he also working as IT, but I have no idea what actually... I have no idea what actually he is doing, you know, just trying to understand <laughs> what he is doing. Like in IT sometimes you like, you can be some kind of professional you know like have some specialization but nobody can understand what you, what you are doing <laughs> so that's something i'm trying to ask alex 
I believe something important. I'm just making some unexpected stop in here just to share this place with you guys, no? If you're gonna explore like some trails in here without bike, must have to see this place. You can find a bunch of trails just in here, just, just be right behind me. Another spot I wanna share with you, this is Niagara Gardens just right behind me. And I have some uh, another separate video regarding this you can find on my channel, it's already on my channel and you can explore it by yourself by watching this video. So yeah, and I will, by the way, I will left some links uh, under this video, you can find in uh, in the description section, okay guys? Another great spot I'm gonna share with you today, this is uh, viewpoint, and from here I definitely, I believe you can find some extremely nice view to this Niagara, Niagara Rio, you know guys? Here, looks like it's already closed. Maybe like not a season, but if it's if it, uh, in case of summertime, probably you should explore this one as well. So yeah, as always, I will left this link under this video. You can you can explore it by yourself. So right now, myself and Alex, we're going to explore this trail without bike bikes. Actually, we're just going to left it in here, some kind of place where you can where you can lock your bikes, you know, and explore this bike. It's not easy bike. Uh, I mean, it's not e easy trail, this one. In case you're with kids, it may be like not easy. Just take a look to the stairs, like... Oh my gosh, the stairways to heaven. It's not easy to handle, and yeah, there's something you should be ready and hold this trail, I should say. It's not easy one. It's actually like, it's even dangerous. So just please be careful, okay? I'm going to share this one with you, but you have to be like, extremely mindful before doing this because you have to you have to be strong and it's not easy guys but you can you can find another trails in here which should be easier for you if you're gonna like doing this just, just for the first time in your life you know or you with kids so yeah this is just a heads up from me just take a look to these stairs see how sharp is this You know, guys, extremely important to have the right shoes in here. Not like me, because mine looks like it's not my size or something. I'm just wearing this for the first time because of huge discount in Treasure Hunt. <laughs> By the way, some video about Treasure Hunting you can find on my channel. This is some kind of store where you can find a good price for for any goods actually from Walmart. Like maybe like 50% price. You can, you can cut like 50% from Walmart price, you know, guys. And yeah, just check this out. How awesome it is, you know, guys. Hey, do you like this trail? Yep. Thank you for sharing this one with me and for my subscribers. Actually, it's from this guy, from Alex. I didn't know about this one, but just just uh, because of him, I know about this. And I'm doing this uh, second time, you know, guys. But this time I'm trying to make some video because first time I was just, I don't know, I was so surprised to see all this. It, everything in, in here so i didn't make some video and right right now this time i'm going to do this right this vlogging see i'm so
Okay guys, this is actually our point for today, like this end point, and, but last time we were exploring this place, you can take this trail, it's extremely sharp and dangerous, but you can do it and you can go like this way to stay like a couple of meters uh, in front of this weir pool, and by the way, this one is the hugest one in, in the world, this weir pool, and this information I just got from Alex, <laughs> thank you so much, I didn't know that by the way, like uh, frankly I didn't know that. And yeah, this place, a bunch of stones in here, and I don't know if we will do this, but right now we're going to swim in here, if we will find some safety, a safe place, you know, to be able to do it safety. And we're gonna swim right now to open open up this season. And this uh, for me, it's going to be, it's 12, yeah, I've been doing this for 12 years. And yeah, guys, extremely powerful place where you can recharge your batteries, and if you're gonna swim, it's actually also so beneficial for your health. It's, uh, it's working in an amazing way to improve your health, to improve your possibility to, to fight with some kind of viruses for with everything, you know, guys. By swimming in the winter, you can significantly improve your health. And actually it's working awesome, guys. Just please believe me. Yeah, baby, it's done for this season. I just started this new season for me and this first ever time for, for Alex, actually. And his skin right now absolutely red, you know, some kind of base uh, reaction of your body. His body right now is trying to warm himself from inside. This how it's working. That's why his skin right now is red, you know, and like it's first ever time experience in here. It, it was pretty, uh, pretty dangerous because of the stones. It's, uh, it's shallow water in here, so you, you need to like find some deep enough place, you know, to, to, be, to be able to swim in here. But yeah, this is awesome place to, to get it done. I believe the water right now is about 8 degrees, and I will check this uh, after this video, I will check um, on... I will Google it <laughs> to, to know it for sure. And 
uh, the temperature of air, I believe, about positive, maybe like 14. So it's pretty warm weather today. It's November 16th, you know, guys. And it's a good time to start doing this, like to uh, this cold explosion. It's the best time to do it exactly in November, in the middle of November, or maybe even in the middle of October. And that's why it's a good time to start, start to do this for the first time, as Alex did today. So yeah, that's some place what I wanted to share with you guys now. We we are heading back. We're gonna grab our bikes. And yeah, that's pretty much it for today, guys. I, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you like it, by the way. And yeah, thank you so much. You know, guys, after this cold exposure, it's the best time to grab some food, you know, because I'm starving. And that's why we've got some snacks in here. And we're gonna we're gonna have a quick lunch in here. It's actually it's lunch for me, lunch time. But see, this is sunset already just because of this mountain in here, because of this cliff. And you you feel like you so it's so warm after this cold exposure. So actually, I don't even need to uh, to wear something. You know, for me, it's okay. So after a good lunch, it's a good time to say to this place, to say goodbye to this beautiful place. And we're heading back and we're going to take this trail back, bike trail back to Ni Niagara on the lake. Yeah, for this season, I believe that's it. And I'm going to be here, I'm, I'm sure like next spring, maybe like in April, it should be a good time to visit this again. But but why not? You can do it in winter time, winter time as well, I believe. Yeah, we did it in my wife at winter. Alex just said he did it. His, he, uh, he did it with his wife in winter time, and, and it was awesome. So it depends on you guys. So some special part of this trail. <laughs> this uh, way back by taking the stairs you know you gotta be pretty strong to be able to be able to handle this one and just check this out not everyone can make it all the way up so be prepared take tents <laughs> <laughs> almost done almost <laughs> there spend the night here <laughs> then continue <laughs> Yep, 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 baby. <laughs> Woo. Woo. Yeah, we're done. And our bike's still in here, you know. It's kind of good news for us. Hey, we're gonna take a short break and take this way back to Niagara on the lake to don't get, uh, to try to get to Niagara on the lake before sunset, guys. Hey, okay, guys, I'm breathing heavy. This uh, some kind of parking space I want to share with you. Just right to next to this entrance to this trail. So it should be pretty handy for you if you're gonna explore this place by driving your car and not by bike. So yeah, friends, another great spot for today. I'm going to share this viewpoint with this Niagara River, and actually, like you, you will get some stunning view from here. And as always, I will leave some link under this video. You can explore by yourself this this place. And we're almost uh, we're almost on Niagara on the lake. So probably this is last point for today. And next up is going to be Niagara on the lake.
this is a beehive just behind me. First of the time I, I'm able to see this. I hope it's empty <laughs> and I'm, I'm not going to run right now just because of this bee. So yeah, actually, guys, I'm wrapping up this walk. You can see this stunning sunset just behind me because still I have some light. I can make this final shots. So yeah, guys, just consider you. Uh, this trail took us, I believe, about five hours. So you have to have at least five hours to explore this and to be able to do the same. And yeah, I hope you enjoy looking to this bike trail. You can do the same. I will share some parking space. And by the way, we found like this parking space where we just staying, but we just found another one. Uh, maybe like, I, I believe like maybe like 300 meters this way. And I will leave some link under this video. So yeah, guys, thank you for tuning this time for this into this video. And please consider subscribing to my channel. And I'm going to catch you in the next one. Bye, guys. Peace out.